The embryos in blastocyst stage, or in other words, embryos that have been developing for five or six days following fertilization, are the ones that achieve the highest percentage of pregnancies. They are classified according to quality based on their size or cavity expansion, also known as the blastocoil, and their morphology. On the one hand, there is the inner core mass, the ICM, a group of cells inside the blastocoil that will form the fetus. The second structure is an epithelial layer of cells surrounding the blastocoil known as the trophectoderm and which forms extra embryonic tissues, placenta and amniotic membranes. The Spanish Association for the Study of Reproduction Biology classifies blastocysts into four different categories A, B, C and D based on the characteristics of the ICM and TE and their expansion. It is also a dynamic classification system that takes embryo evolution into account on day four and or five of development. Blastocysts that are assigned a category A classification are optimum quality blastocysts that have the greatest ability to implant. Category B blastocysts are good quality blastocysts with an elevated ability to implant. Category C refers to blastocysts with an average quality level and average ability to implant, whilst category D blastocysts are poor quality blastocysts that are unlikely to lead to gestation. However, the most standardized international classification system, and the one that is used worldwide, is the Gardner and Schoolcraft 1999 classification system. It only takes into account a single observation on the fifth or sixth day of development. Expansion is assessed in six stages, from the least to the most. From grade three onwards, there is a morphological criteria to divide ICM and TE into three categories, from the poorest to the best quality, based on the number of cells, their cohesion and their appearance, A, B and C. The best gestation rates are obtained by transferring blastocysts that are quality 4AA or higher. Apart from a comparison of the blastocyst morphology, other morphological criteria for choosing one blastocyst over another can be taken into account. These include the thickness of the external layer, zona pellucida, the presence of signs of eclosion, and embryo quality during the previous stages. Embryologist training is key to classifying blastocysts correctly and always transferring the embryo with the greatest ability to lead to gestation.